My name is Dr. Michael Mihonen, and I am the head of neurosurgery at Children's Hospital of Orange County. We, today we're going to discuss hydrocephalus. Hydrocephalus refers to an excessive buildup of water or cerebral spinal fluid on the brain. We make about two cups of water on the brain per day, hence we have to get rid of two cups of water per day on the brain. If it builds up excessively, hydrocephalus develops. In children, hydrocephalus is typically caused by blockage. You can be born with a blockage called aqueductal stenosis. You might be a baby that has a bleed in the brain that can cause blockage. You could have a brain tumor that causes blockage or even head trauma that causes blockage. The first symptom of hydrocephalus is typically a headache. As the water builds up on the brain, pressure ensues. The second symptom is lethargy, and then that's followed by nausea and vomiting. If it's not treated rapidly and you have a complete buildup of water on the brain, it ultimately can be fatal. We try to treat all patients with hydrocephalus the least invasive way that's possible. We try to do a procedure where we can endoscopically create a bypass around the blockage in the brain called a third ventriculostomy or fenestration of the aqueduct and hopefully avoid a shunt in these patients. In children that we can't do the bypass on, we will implant a device called a shunt. A shunt looks like this. It is a silicone tube that drains water from the brain down into the abdominal cavity. It has three components, the piece in the head, the valve, and the piece that floats in the belly. And this will allow the water to divert in a bypass way around the blockage. Most patients that get a shunt implanted will have that shunt for life. If we can take it out, it's because we were able to do a bypass around it. And on rare occasions, some children will outgrow the need for it. As the brain gets bigger and more mature, they can absorb the fluid on their own without the need for a shunt, but that is quite rare. Once a child has a shunt implanted, it really is a marriage. They come to the office continuously for follow-up. We need to follow the head size. We need to make sure that the tubing is long enough for that patient. And we need to make sure that there's not an occult failure that might be developing. Many children can live a normal life with a shunt. There's obviously a price to pay for having the hydrocephalus, and some children can be devastated. But most patients with a shunt, you wouldn't know they have one. They walk and talk and go to school.